We're going to be looking at proportion through a series of different exercises. And in the front cover of this booklet, you can see I have taken a school badge. Now you might describe this as an oval shape. That's absolutely fine, but you can draw a frame over the top of it at a 90 degree angle to create the ratio of the height and width. Now, when you come to construct your drawing, if you look at the grid I've applied and the center line over the top of it, that's only really to help you and to make a point that the top of the shield is along this line. If I divide from this point to here, about halfway, you can see that's approximately where the corner of the shield is. So with some guidelines, you can see how I'm beginning to construct the shape of it. You can see at that point, maybe about halfway down that box, it starts to curve in and it doesn't come to the bottom because the banner, the separate LD, is at the bottom. So if I describe it, point about there, and I construct the line. So you see, this is an exercise in construction. Now, the worksheet is only asking us to position the shield, but whilst you're waiting for the people, if you've done that part of it, you might continue just to work on it and test yourself on developing your accuracy in your proportions. I've gone on to do a little bit more. You can see that I've constructed the shape of the shield. It's not quite right yet, but it will do the job for now. I've started to work out the position of the Sapre Oil Day badge here. You see how I'm putting in little marks and construction lines. Now you will use this when you do exercises when you're grid drawing. When you're plotting a graph and when you're looking at intersections, it's all the same type of skill. Sometimes thinking that that banner connects under here, that connects to there, will help when you work something out. Now I'm not going to put the lettering in yet. That looks, let's say it's horizontal, it may be going slightly up and it comes from the top there. You'll notice that line's at a slight angle. How far across does it come? I'm going to use an arc here to connect these points to give myself a guideline. I'm going to come across there. That's the same banner there that comes across here and it's coming up. Now, where does it connect to? So we're just up here. So from that point, the angle is about 45 degrees. Again, I'm drawing things that aren't quite there because I'm thinking about the back of the banner. So we're not asking you to complete this task, we're asking you to start your drawing and begin to think about plotting. If you want to go on and finish it or you're asked to finish it, please do so.